Hi and welcome, here's a new Blender 2.8 video in which I'm going to morph an object into another one using shape keys. It was a kind of test to morph this cube into Suzanne, I wanted to see if this works in Blender 2.8 and yes, it works pretty nice. But I don't want the starting shape of this morphing to be a cube, so I press Ctrl and 3. This will add a subsurface modifier to the cube, which I apply immediately. Okay, the next object that I'm going to add is the monkey, Suzanne. And for her, I will also add a subsurface modifier that has three levels. Again, I apply it. And then I duplicate the monkey because we will need it in a moment. I move it over here to the right and then I select the first monkey. And for this, I add another modifier. And this is a shrink wrap modifier. I use this modifier to shrink the geometry of the monkey down to the cube. So the cube is the target that I select. And when you go to edit mode now, after you applied this modifier, you can see that the geometry is still there, but it is projected onto this cube. Okay, we can delete the original cube now, because to add this morphing effect, we just need the original monkey that we duplicated and the shrinked monkey. Now select these objects, the duplicated monkey first, then the shrinked one. And after that I go to the object data panel and click this arrow for the shape keys and select join as shapes. Okay, and now for the Suzanne shape key, you have a slider for the value property that you can move from zero to one. And with this you can morph the shapes. Nice, now I get rid of the duplicated Suzanne, we don't need it anymore. And I'm hiding the overlays, because now I want to animate the morphing. First I open a timeline, and then I go back to the object data, to the shape keys, and there is this tiny button on the right side of the value slider, and you can click it to animate this property. You see that in the timeline keyframes are added, then I move to the end frame, let's say 60, then set the value to 1, and press the I key to add a new keyframe, and when you move the slider now in the timeline, you can see that we animated the shape keys. Okay, what else could we do? We could for example set the size of the ball to a very low value when the animation starts. So I enable auto keyframe insertion and scale it down for the first keyframe by pressing the S key and the keyframe will be added automatically. And for the last frame I reset the size by pressing Alt and S and perhaps even increase it a bit more. Alright, the test was successful, we can use shape keys in Blender 2.8 and the shrink wrap modifier as well. And the next test will be to export this as FBX and import it into a game engine. If you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe and consider supporting me by becoming my patron. Thank you guys for watching, thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next one.